Yeah. We back, we back. Hey, you too. She enjoying her food right now, if y'all can see. We got, what we got? I'm gonna show them what we got. What we got? We got Wendy's. Fast food. We got the Wendy's today. We got fast food. We got the Wendy's today. You know what I'm saying? Um, Stuff that we not gonna be eating, but. I mean, we, we on a little diet, so we gonna eat a little better this time. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Not, I'm not on the diet. <laughs> baby, put your solid up. Put your solid up, baby. Mmm. Mmm. God damn. Oh, Got the salt. You know what I'm saying? A little shit. This is going to be a little mukbang. I'm going to call it mukbang because I used to say mukbang. Mukbang and mukbang, I'm going to call it. This is a little mukbang today for y'all. But tonight for y'all. Gonna get a potter. You know what I'm saying? So what are we gonna talk about, Shawnee? It's good news. Good news, baby. Yes, so. What a good news. Cause I don't really hear no good news, but I'm good, good news is things are starting to open up for me, for her, you know. Things coming to light, you know. As long as you know, as long as I was praying to God, you know, starting to get back in church and everything. I realize, like my parents are saying, and her, you know, things will start coming, things will start opening up, blessings will come for us, so I have nothing to worry about. And um, it did. So it's like, we just gonna keep pushing, keep moving. We ain't gonna let nobody tell us different. We gonna make sure our child is supported in the best way we can support him, no matter what. So that's all that matters. Make sure my family support it, and I gotta do my duty as a man. But it's like we gonna get a little deep. We gonna get a little deep with it today. We gonna get a little deep. So, Bay, it's like, how you been feeling? You know, you gotta tell them how you been feeling. Hmm. On and off again. Back, back to the on and off stages. Yeah, she said she has been feeling a little on and off. You know. But that's what comes with it, I guess. But it's like, I never like to see her in pain. Let's get that straight. I'm not no type of guy. You never want to see a woman in pain. But I guess that's how it goes sometimes. That was your stomach. What? That made a noise. No. Sorry, I'm trying to get this. You know, I'm trying to get my food started for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't trying to be greedy. You know, I'm, and be disrespect and be greedy. disrespectful towards y'all because I don't even know what y'all eating. You know, I know greedy. we eating good right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. All healthy vibes. Even though I know it's not healthy. <laughs> All healthy vibes. The solid is but. But yeah, don't want it all for me. Cause I guess, cause I'm basically at my third trimester. So, and they said that's gonna be worse for me. Yeah, that's basically what they said. But it's like, mm -hmm. either way, I'm gonna be there for it no matter what. Even though it's like, I got to understand I'm still young now with a child on the way. But it's like, at the end of the day, maybe it was a blessing. Or maybe it was a blessing for me to be with Shanice over the last three years, since September 6th, you know. Maybe it was a blessing. <laughs> Y'all ain't see that. Maybe. Yeah, that's, Pretty good, right? Maybe it's a <laughs> blessing. You know, that's strawberry and lemonade, by the way. And he was just drinking chocolate milk, so you know he's gonna be in the bathroom. Chill, probably. From Wawa. Chill, probably. But look. So he gonna, you know he's gonna be crapping. 
That's not even chocolate. I mean, strawberry milk. <laughs> Do you not see it? I miss strawberry milk. All right, y'all. So look. Back to what we were saying. And then he gonna eat Maybe it was a blessing. Maybe it was a blessing a for me to be with her. No, 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 did. It was a blessing for a child to be blessed upon us. You know? And I see now that in the end, things are going to start coming together. And that's all that matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She over here grubbing. She ain't even talking. It's all good. Can you talk? I'm, I don't want to be the only one talking. Well, I'll tell you, watch your mouth and tell me. I'm not about to be on it. Talk. Yeah, keep crunching. Now you got my mom calling you. You did not. No, I did not. I'm gonna have to call her back. I'm trying to eat. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Y'all got to do the same thing. Just go day by day with it. No matter what y'all going through, things going to be worked out. Just keep your head up. Keep working towards your goal, what you want to achieve, and things will, it will work. Trust me. I'm not just spitting BS to y'all at all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see all my black brothers make it. I'm going to see all the sisters make it. Ain't no, ain't no type of discrimination. I'm not a hater. I don't hate on nobody. I want to see you make it. I want to see you get out of the, you know, just something different. You got to explore. Can't be in the same place every day. You got to explore life. And that's what I'm going to continue to do because I'm nowhere near exploring. We nowhere near, right, man? There's plenty of places, plenty of things we want to do and see that is going to get done. So it's like, y'all got to believe the same thing too because it's going to get done for y'all as well. Real shit. So, you ain't hear that. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind. Now on to um, Shaniki. <laughs> Don't call me that. His dad called me. Well, his mom and dad used to call me that, but they don't call me that no more. They switched up on me. <laughs> you just got to tell them to call you that. No, you will. no, it's okay. But anyway, I ain't really like that name anyway. Tell them how you feeling. Anyway, I'm feeling like, kind of like, upset or whatever. Because it's like, me, I'm a news person and I watch the news all the time. So, <clears throat> it's kind of like, sad when you see. Yeah. Team, don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. It's kind of sad to see. Who is you talking to? Teens of all race. You know you did it? Teens of all race Sorry, no, go ahead. getting killed or being abducted what? all because of something stupid or people just want to do stuff. And not just teens, and for these little babies, like 5, 14-year-olds, like for them to just be getting, be going missing out of nowhere, like, like today, like. I guess it been was happening, but I would just look at it. I guess it, it was like that since yesterday. When a, the little girl was at the park, and like she was watching her sibling or whatever. And the mom want to be in the car, not paying attention to the kids. And the girl got taken away, but the little boy didn't. So it's like... I don't Watch know. your surroundings. It's sad. Watch your loved ones. You not got a child. Dead. Watch her, watch him. Be, yeah, be more cautious. Um, you, gotta you got a sibling. Watch her, watch him. Same thing. It don't matter. And then it's like, why y'all have Watch kids? yourself as well. Why y'all have kids if y'all can't like, take care of your responsibilities? Bro, rap. Bro, rap. Because like, honestly, I wouldn't never do that to my child. Like, can you pass me the honey mustard? You got to watch. You gotta watch them at all times. That's what people don't get. All times, you must watch them. It don't matter when it is, because you never know. Because people, it's, the world is getting crazy. It's getting more crazier, more crazy every day. 
every day we losing somebody close to us. Our age or younger. No disrespect to the adults, but it's like, it's more so of people my age, excuse me, it's more people of my age and younger getting killed every day. And that's a bad look. And the look. girls is getting killed. That's a bad they look. They shooting the girls. They shooting the girls for no reason. So it's like, it's every day. Every day you hear them, oh, such and such got killed at this bus stop. Such and such got killed at this school. Such and such got killed at the park. He, well, was just he or she killed. was just sitting on the step. He or she shot. was just chilling. Because there, there was this at the wrong place at the wrong time. Or it was like a little argument or whatever, and it turned into a shooting. Like, y'all can't, y'all can't solve things out. Y'all gotta always shoot. Y'all can't just fight with fists. Y'all gotta always shoot. And that's right. what that's what I be saying. To me, it's not a lot of real out here. You know what I? Half of y'all know what I'm saying. It's not a lot of real ends out here. That's all I'm gonna say. It's not a lot of real ends. I'm telling you right now. Win or lose, you stood up and you fought. It don't matter. You ain't gonna win everything. You ain't gonna beat everybody. I'm gonna just say it right now, but at least you fought. You didn't have to use a weapon or anything. But I'm gonna tell you right now, if it involves a family member or anything, and such and such, and you wanna handle your business the way you wanna handle it, go ahead and handle it the way you wanna handle it. But it's just that it may take a toll on you, you know? Cause I know some have my with my girl, my family, or anything. I'm, it, it's, it's a rat, gun, knife, or whatever. But it's like consequences are gonna happen after that. But it's like at that time you probably won't care if something happened to you, one of your family, or something probably could happen to your mom, something could happen to your father, your girl, your sister, your brother, your closest friend. It don't matter. So it's like. It's a lot of, it's a lot of, like what she was bringing, a lot of devastating, shocking things that's been going on. And it's sad to say, but it's going to continue going on. Because it's like, there's always somebody crazy out here. There's always somebody that probably didn't get enough love. There's always somebody that was probably bullied. And now they want to take it out on everybody else. You never know what could happen in that person's life. Or it's just people out here that just want to kill you for fun. You ain't got to be in no beef. You ain't got to be in no... But I can understand you being bullied because you carry that for the rest of your life. Or so you bullying got takes enough. a toll on a lot of people. Yeah, and you never know like how that person felt. You don't know how he was bullied. bullied. You don't know if he was sexually harassed. Yeah, so of course I would. You don't know if he was always beat up every day. You don't know what happened. So it's like, man, yeah, you don't understand, but it's like at the end of the day, you still living, but, but you're taking everybody else's life. At the end of the day, I understand that bullies like pain or whatever. But sometimes, even when you go to therapy, you know that stuff don't work. You don't need all that. Alright. Therapy don't work all the time. No, it doesn't. Because all they do is just sit there and talk to you and they want you to repeat it. Repeat it and repeat it all over again and... Try ways to cope, try different coping skills to deal with it, and that ain't gonna work at the end of the day because you still you still got that anger still built up. You not it's not like a relief. Yeah. Like me, it helped me. Therapy helped. It did help me, but I still get mad. It's like so. I don't get it. We really, we really losing loved ones out here. We really losing close friends, close siblings, other family members. Every day. To this dumb stuff, because people want to act crazy. That's why I thank God for waking me up every morning. I thank God for waking everybody up. I thank God for waking her up, my child, her family, her mom, her mom, everybody. Because it's like, you never know when that person is going. You never know what can happen to you. So that's why I just thank him for just waking me up every day. With new strength, good health, everything. You know? Because we all sin. We all know that. But it's like, at the end of the day, we make up for it. And he understands that. As long as you love him and always show him, you know, his appreciation. But I ain't going to get y'all into the little Christianity or anything. Because I don't know what y'all are. But, you know. I'm just saying that's what I do. 
you know. But it's like it's gotta stop. The killing's gotta stop. It ain't. So. That's what I'm saying. It ain't. There's but. no need for us to even. You can try to do what you want to do. Because it ain't going to stop. And then you're going to stop when when the violence go down. Like when the ratings go down. When people start, a lot of people start going to jail. When people start. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to stop, but. A lot, a lot of some way, like somehow. Said, you never know what people are going through. Like. Some way, somehow, it will. Yeah, when this world comes to an end or something. Yeah. Cause it's like, and it's going to come to an end. This world is going to come to an end. It's like... So you're about to live life now. It's not fair to everybody. It's not fair to somebody to lose a loved one. Because of your shenanigans. I don't know it's what you eat tomatoes, but them tomatoes were good. It's not fair. Taking an innocent person's life, that person ain't do nothing to you because of your hatred, your guilt. You know, and it's like we gotta understand, we gotta watch ourselves. No matter if you're grown, you're young, you're a child, just watch yourself out here. It's real. Because I'm tired of hearing every every freaking day that somebody my age or younger is dying because niggas just wanna shoot you. You go with the N word. People just want to shoot you and all this. Uh, like no, I, I don't like that, man. That be making me mad. That's a. That's why I be like, if I could, I really would stand up to these to one of these bulls. Like where we're at. But you don't want to put yourself in that type of danger. Anyway. But you ain't real to me though. You're not a man. If you can use a gun, use a gun for a reason. You just using a gun just to shoot it. If I was using a gun. I'll be probably using it because somebody's trying to harm my family. That's the only reason I'll probably use a weapon. they using it just to have fun. Like, just call of duty. No funny shit. Like, just call of duty or something. Like, no. No. It's GTA. What you talking about? GTA, call of duty, all in one. It don't even matter. This is GTA. It's like that, <laughs> that man that was shooting up. <laughs> and down there, down there, Philly. Shot them six cops. You know, that's some juicy A type stuff. <laughs> never thought, never thought it'd be like that, though. Or whatever. When you gotta think about it, cops think they unstoppable. They ain't gonna be unstoppable. But he was something wrong with him, though. It was something wrong with, uh, with him. So, we can't judge him because we don't really know the situation. Things happen. Just watch ourselves. We're real. We got plenty of life to live. We're young. Plenty of life to live. Whether y'all having kids, whether y'all not yet. Whether y'all getting married, whether y'all not yet. It don't matter. Live life. Explore. But that don't mean take that for me. No. No, I'm not saying that, man. Take advantage of it. We say live life. Live life, yeah. But that don't mean take advantage. Look at the little car. That don't mean take advantage of it, though. It's about to live life. I mean, it's how you want to do it. It's how you feel. People want to live life. Hey, have all the guns they can. Live life. Look. I don't need nothing. No, you said live life. That's what I'm saying. You can't just say live life because... No, I'm saying like live life in a good way. Not just saying forget it. And I'm going to just shoot everybody up. I'm going to rob somebody. I'm going to beat somebody up. I'm going to yeah, jump I'm somebody. I'm these robberies too. I never like, said what? That. Somebody stole out a Wawa <laughs> Upper Derby yesterday. Who's the news? All these Wawa's getting, like, my brother Sean, he working with Wawa. He, and he, it was a robbery, like, about two, a week ago. They took his phones. They took everybody's phones in there. And, he got robbed? Yep. In a Wawa. Like, 
it be just be like, oh, like, what do you really want? Like, is it's really a money situation? I don't know. What it, is it? I guess I guess it got something to do with people trying to just rule. Like they ruling some. You never know. Everybody want to be God. Everybody want to think they ruling some. Everybody want to think they in charge of some. I mean, you're not. But you know, that's just how life is. Sometimes, I guess. Oh. What you, yeah. ready, what you ready to go? I'm not okay. <clears throat> well, y'all, that was just a little talk about life. What's going on? You know, like I said, be safe out here. Keep your families, your loved ones, your siblings. Keep everybody this close to you. You know, because you never know. They don't even got to be close. You just, like, call them once in a while. Because a, a, a lot of us don't, like, communicate with our family. Like, because of That's something that they did. That's something true. that they did. But you never know. Like, they might have did some grimy stuff. But at the end of the day, nobody knows what nobody's going through right now. Like, and we, this is the right time that we everybody needs each other. Like. <clears throat> mm hmm And got to remember that. Keep that in your heart. Because you can't keep. You can't keep anger inside you, build it up. Because a person did something to you, or because a person don't want to talk to you. Be, you gotta be the bigger person and talk to them. Or go see them. Because you might just brain up their day, just by going to go see them. You never know, even though that day was mad at you for a while, they might die over it. You can go over it, so you can't have a friend on nobody. That's true, honey. That's true. Y'all keep that in your hearts. You keep it in your heart, too. I'm keeping it in my heart. I'm back. <laughs> All right. Keep that, like I said, like she said, I'm keeping it in my heart. Y'all keep it in your hearts. There was a little talk about life, what's going on right now, you know, even life after. So it's like, just keep doing, keep what y'all got to do, keep striving, keep grinding, day day in, day out. You get what y'all want to get and achieve y'all goals. And um, always keep a smile on your face, always keep your head up at all times. Always know that you really, the real ones that's going to be by your side, they're going to be by your side. They not, they're the fake ones. They include family, friends, sisters, brothers, girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, wives, it don't matter. If they by your side, they by your side. If they not, they not. So, you right. gotta know who real and who not. They not. This they fucking. That's right. a topic. Real. Watch your mouth, baby. Even though you correct. <laughs> F them. I curse. But, yeah. <laughs> oh my bad. They ain't real. F them. But I'm slipping out. This. Remember that. Keep that motto in your mind. You know, probably all y'all know that. And excuse me. But we gonna end all this bit. Yeah, soccer a bit. <laughs> she gotta do something. I gotta take her home. Hope y'all enjoyed this mook bang. Remember, leave a like. Comment. Subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And um, keep them notifications on. Hit that bell. More vids coming. A lot more excitement coming. We ain't stopping here. We gonna keep going no matter what. Whether people support us, whether you don't, we gonna keep going. So, we here. We always going to be here, and we up. And we what, babe? We out. We out. So, um, put this honey mustard down. Stay in the bed. And, um, mm. yeah. That's in J Domain. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, she's off. I'm tired. Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>